The Tynan Weir Metro is a regional-scale light metro serving Newcastle and the surrounding area in the northeast of England. If the system existed in the U.S., it would be considered an interurban. The system consists of two lines across 48.2 miles, 77.5 kilometers of track, and has 60 stations, including one at the Newcastle Airport. The system took over much of the disused infrastructure of the Tyneside Electric's suburban network when it was opened in 1980. Today, we'll explore the rolling stock or train models used on the metro. Before we begin, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Also consider checking out my Patreon, which is linked in the description below. If you want a behind-the-scenes look at the Tiny Weir Metro, I'll put a link to my vlog playlist in the description and as a card in the top right corner. The older of the two rolling stock models in use on the Metro is the Metro car, also known as the BR Class 599. These cars are two-segment articulated units derived from Staatsbahn Wagon B cars from Germany, although without features that would allow them to run in the street. They were built by Metro Camel in Birmingham between 1975 and 1981 and entered service with the system's opening on August 11, 1980. 90 units were built, with the number in service slowly dwindling as more of the replacement trains enter service and broken down units were scrapped for parts to keep the remaining fleet operating. They were refurbished between 1996 and 2000 and again between 2010 and 2015. The cars are numbered 4001 to 4090. Over their lifetime, three liveries have been applied to the cars. The first livery lasted from the opening of the system to the mid-1990s, the second livery from 1995 to 2015, and the third and current livery, my personal favorite, from 2012. The cars have LED destination displays on the fronts of the car, originally roll signs, and half-width caps. This is great for train enthusiasts as it allows people to look out the front window, but horrible for drivers as the cab is very cramped. I should know, I got to sit in one. On the inside, the trains have gray, black, and yellow interiors with mostly, mostly transverse across the width of the car seating. This increases seated capacity at the expense of standing room, which means that when the trains are at full capacity, it can feel very cramped standing in the narrow aisle. Strip mats are located over the doors of the car, which are simple air-operated plug doors. As the units are articulated, passengers can walk between the two segments via an open gangway. As part of the recent refurbishment, the, gar the car has gained rear choice spaces to improve accessibility. The newer model of rolling stock used on the Metro is the BR Class 555 Metro, otherwise known as the 555. These cars are being built by Stadler as part of their Metro family of modular rapid transit trains, and as such are similar to the BR Class 777s used on Mercy Rail in Liverpool and the CQ400s used on Marta in Atlanta. As of June 2025, the trains were still under construction in Switzerland, which began in 2021. The first unit entered service on December 18, 2024. Each unit consists of five articulated segments, with the end segments being longer and containing the powered bogies. 46 units have been ordered in total, with the number delivered slowly increasing, and two train sets being in service as of March 2025. The trains feature a new livery, which is mostly yellow, in contrast to the mostly black livery of the Metro cars. They feature more modern AC traction motors as opposed to the older DC traction motors in use on the Metro cars. The cabs on these trains are much more spacious, taking up the entire width of the train, and feature more modern amenities such as modern desktop control system and screens that show things like CCTV and the status of systems on the train. In addition to the strip maps seen on the Metro cars, the 555s also have screens that show the next station as well as subsequent stations, allowing passengers to see where they are on the route in real time. Like the Metro cars, the 555s have automated announcements. Additionally, there are pre-recorded announcements that the driver can play by using one of the screens in the cab. The trains have all longitudinal down the length of the car's seating to increase capacity, and the seats have a new maquette, with a special variant being used for priority seats. The trains feature wheelchair spaces and lights around the doors to indicate the status of the doors in a visual way as opposed to just auditory with the door's closing chime. Lastly, the internal cab doors feature artwork, which is different between train sets. That's a rundown of the two types of trains used on the Tiny Wear Metro. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel as well as supporting me on Patreon. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.